Hello, everyone. This is Ty Slatter. Antonio Turner. You know, this is GTA. You check brought to you by GTA Sports Network. Follow us on all social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, GTA Sports. Don't forget GTA Sports.com for all things in the world of sports. We are talking NFL Week 17. There's a whole lot to unpack here. Yeah. Uh, but be, but for the sake of time, I'm going to go in order. We'll say we'll save our uh, our Monday night football conversation for the end because that's probably going to take a whole nother segment in itself. So I got a lot to unpack when it comes to that, as I'm sure you do too. Let's kick yeah. it off right. Cowboys beat the Titans. No surprise there. Let's just go ahead and break down our picks. Yeah, not surprised by that. <laughs> at, not at all, sir. No Tanny Hills. No Derrick Henry. Nah. Joshua Dobbs was the starter. Stop talking to me, man. Yeah, uh, Titans are officially out of the conversation of the AFC South. Uh, not yet. They play Jacksonville for the t- for Saturday night. Whoever wins it is in. That that like the Jaguars. Jacksonville is going to win it, but <laughs> oh, okay, oh, okay. I remember I'm hearing you. Just saying. Like, they're not what officially. Is you, saying? Is you implying something I don't know? No. No, they're not going to win, but they're not officially out. They said yeah, Malik Willis is starting one. Derrick Henry was that for two, three. Mm-hmm. The Jaguars is red hot right now. I don't want to yeah. talk about it. <laughs> Ain't nothing to talk about. It's not other than other than uh, of course. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why they had Josh Dobbs. I don't know what that's about. But <laughs> Dak had a Dak game. Yeah, twenty nine, forty one, two eighty two, two touchdowns. You know, Zeke got him a touchdown. Schultz got him a couple touchdowns on the receiving tip. And C. Lamb had 100 yards. Ain't much to talk about here. They saw the Titans and said, we ain't got to work that hard, John. Relax. It's all good. Relax. Relax. Let's move on. Cardinals lost to the Falcons, 19-20. Nobody cares, though. Exactly. Nobody cares, Dolphins, Patriots. Now, <clears throat> this game, this game hurt. This game hurt because Teddy had a decent game. Not good enough. No, not not at this stage. No, not on this stage. Not with the playoffs on the line that they just not, got eliminated. So what now? I think they got eliminated. Oh, your Dolphins. What? By who? Patriots. What? I'm pretty sure. Man, I need confirmation, man. Cite your sources. I'm pretty sure. Well, so the Dolphins, they're not official. They got they need the Patriots to lose, and they need like uh somebody else to lose, and they officially You're asking Bill Belichick to throw you a bone and lose <laughs> so you can go to the playoffs. Uh, but if he wins. Just, 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 so, just, 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 just hang it up. Between the Steelers. Wow. So that was but, a must win. So that was a must the, win game they lost. That was a must win. Yeah, basically, yeah. Because they won, they was in. Officially, they was in. But now the Patriots and the Steelers have a chance. I think the Patriots win the end. I think the Steelers win, the Patriots lose. Then the Steelers are in, I believe. So the Dolphins did all that work this season. Just they to... lost five straight games. They were just Dude, got hurt. Then not the whole time. He'd been out two weeks. Okay, that's two or five about half. What well, about his three game losing streak? <laughs> Concussion protocols. No, I don't want to hear all that. <laughs> supposed to be two a time. Supposed to get paid. You ain't getting paid. Who would need to retire at this point? I, I you know what? I, this game is getting me flustered. I'm just gonna move on. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go. On. <laughs> Saints beat the Eagles. Garner Miss you let me down. He Big let time. a lot of people down. Big time. And his he numbers weren't even bad. He just not good enough. Yeah, he was said he good. four one touchdown one pick. They was at and home. Too. Meanwhile, the Red Rifle showed us why we still respect them as a quarterback. Somewhat. Uh, 
204 with a pick, but it was 18 and 22 on the on the attempts. I I don't I don't say about this game. It was a struggle. It was a struggle. I, I just I just don't know what to say about that game. A lot, a lot of struggles. Giants beat the Colts 38-10. That wasn't a beating. That was a whooping. The Giants made it to the playoffs. Yeah. Brian DeVoe did the impossible. He made the Giants relevant again. <laughs> now, it probably first round knockout. But they he playing. got Danny Dimes out here throwing dimes. And when I say throwing dimes, they made mean, Danny Dimes look like a superstar. The coast is did. that up every year. His number of picks have gone down dramatically every he season. Too. They're gonna have to pay that man. Danny Dimes is actually Danny Dimes. Like he's yeah. really throwing dimes. And not to the opposition, to his actual receivers. Yeah, he's literally he had four touchdowns. Can you imagine what he would have did if they kept the receiver that got hurt at the beginning of the season? All oh, right. Oh yeah. my god. Oh my god. And Galladay Galladay hurt too. Both their best two receivers have been out. The Danny Downs got two touchdowns on the rush, 91 yards on the rush, 137 on the passing. That combines for nearly 300 yards. And four touchdowns. And four touchdowns. Y'all know my philosophy. If a quarterback does over 200 yards, I need two touchdowns or better. My man doubled it. Right. I want oh, uh, Give me four. So, um, nothing really bad to say here. Uh, Brian DeBall, his first year as head coach of the Giants, did what he was supposed to do. Made sure the coach didn't embarrass him on his first year as a coach. Got his team to the playoffs. I have nothing to say. Now, their season, no matter where it ends, was a success. Right. With the tie. You still clinched the division. So... I have nothing to say here. Uh, congratulations to the New York Giants. They did their thing. Meantime, never bet against the GOAT. Old Tom Brady. I don't Old know what goat. they Yeah, Old I don't know what they goat. He said, what now? He went into the chamber. He had no choice. He went into the the family member, family matters chamber. Can you, can you imagine? What would have happened in if he the lost media, to the Carolina Panthers? If he lost to the Carolina Panthers at this stage, and that was for a division too. If he would have lost the division to the Carolina Panthers at six and nine, you or know what seven and Lander, nine, he would have to retire on the spot at the like press conference, like, like on Monday. Yeah, he had to do like how they did. Andrew, you got to retire. You got to just. Leave the shoes there and walk off. You don't have nothing. You don't get to come back next week. I'm gonna tell you, you're not coming back. We're gonna start your backup next week. Blake hey, hey, I'm gonna retire you myself. And then I'm gonna fire Todd Bowles in the process. Immediately. Because <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Arians is the same team as last year, and Bruce Arians didn't do this. If Tom retired in his speech, he'd have to say, Oh yeah, hey, I gotta fire Todd Bowles because I'm leaving, he coming with me. Right. He might as well, too. Yeah. I want to give props to Sam Darnold. His numbers were actually good. 23-37, 341, three touchdowns and a pick. That's good by his standards. Oh, that's great. He knew he was going up against Brady. He got to put on the show. Yeah, tighten up. But Brady went ahead and said, 432, three touchdowns with zero picks. Oh, don't worry. 200 yards was to Mike Evans. And three touchdowns. That's the Super Bowl. Like Jay Rice out there. That's the Super Bowl, Brady and Mike Evans. You want? And if the playoffs starts again, that's who they would play. He said, "Who? Oh. Cowboys." You know what that means, don't you? The Cowboys are going home first round if they play Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> You mean that can keep it up with Tom Brady? He's not going. I refuse to believe the Cowboys are going to go to Tampa Bay and beat Tampa Bay in the playoffs. You got you don't got short term memory loss. <laughs> what happened to the Cowboys when they went up against Brady Jr., aka Jimmy G, and the Niners? Yeah. They forgot where they was on the field. You remember that, right? Yeah. So if you can't beat Jimmy G, 
you damn sure not gonna beat Tom. Jimmy not at is, home. Is, is is the goat little brother? Like you not mm-hmm. you no. You can't beat him. You definitely ain't beating him. Oh no right. no no. And two eighty two with two touchdowns by Dak is it may have got you past Tannehill and I'm sorry Dobbs. My bad. My bad. I almost gave Tannehill credit he don't deserve. My bad. You you can get you can get past Josh Dobbs with that. You're not doing that with Tom. Tom go look at that like two eighty two and two touchdowns. That's, that's that's the best you got. Right. That's a half for me. That's a half. That's two quarters. And what is that good for? Two quarters. So if he goes up against Brady, he good for about two quarters. <laughs> Brady gonna give you a whole four, right? And drop four plus with four touchdowns. Yes, sir. Only reason Mike Evans is eating now because he ain't got to share the ball with Antonio Brown no more. That's all that is. Right. He eating now. This is my show. Right. No. Twenty average thirteen point three yards per carry. No disrespect to Chris Godwin. You still getting your legs right. And, hey, mm-hmm. we, just, okay. we ain't forgot. But this is Mike Evans show right now. Right. So uh, salute to the goat. Never been against the I told y'all time and time again. Yeah, you never know, want me some money. He didn't bet against the goat. Look, he got paid. Yes, I refuse to. Don't do it. Yeah, right. Man. You have to be Buffalo Bills or Kansas City for me to do that. You have to be a team that you just riding with for real, for yeah. real. Um. All right. So, <clears throat> explain to me how the Kansas City Chiefs almost lost to a four and twelve Broncos. I have no idea, sir. Would it be defense? They defense is atrocious. Yes. Let's 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 talk defense, shall we? They've been bad for a while now. Russell Wilson went twenty six thirty eight two twenty two a yard uh, touchdown in the pick. I think he had two rushing TDs though, and twenty seven with two touchdowns on the rush. So he was the offense basically. Yep. Hmm. Well, he had one receiver get a touchdown for him. Yeah, um, Albert. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, they 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 rebuilding because they need a coach. So Nathaniel Hackett was not the answer. I wonder obvious. why Green Bay let him walk. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna move on because the Lions did exactly what they're supposed to do against the Bears. Sorry, Justin Fields. I know. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Help my man. Help Fields. Free Justin Fields, man. Meanwhile, Jared Goff having a, a, a nostalgia year for him. 255, three touchdowns. He got Jamal Williams, 144 yards with a touchdown. Just DeAndre Swift had 76 good. yards with a touchdown. And 39 receiving for DeAndre Swift with a touchdown. You know it's bad when Justin Fields outrushed and more than he passed the ball. He ran for 132 yards. He's not even running a quarterback like that. Ugh. He's the offense. That's what I'm saying. He's not running for his life, basically. Yep. Let's move on. The Browns beat the Commanders. Dare I say it? Is Deshaun Watson back? <laughs> you know why? Carson Wentz was the starter. Mm, yeah, well, I'm, look, I'm looking at Deshaun's numbers here. Now, can you – you're a football guy, so explain this to me. Deshaun went 9 of 18, 50%. That's 169 terrible. yards. Yeah. Three touchdowns. How do you do that? When your head coach don't know that if you lose the game, you'll eliminate from playoffs. He didn't know that. They told him, and they said, "I seen it." Yeah, it was. I like, seen you, it. They said, "You he put didn't Carson, know." He didn't. They said, "You he, made the decision to put Carson Wentz in, knowing that you could uh, potentially be eliminated from playoffs." I said what? For real? Look here, man. We know you. Hey, I know you played football before. You ain't lost your mind yet, have you? I know you've been sick. You lost your mind. It sound like <laughs> the head coach of the team, and you don't know that you. And you put Carson Wentz, who threw three picks. I think we've officially seen the last of Riverboat Ron. 
Yeah, I t- I I've tried to warn you. I tried to warn y'all. I know he's a the story is a great guy. Great story. Former linebacker played for the Bears in the 80s, part of the Bears. Part of the 85 Bears. He's a good coach. He just ain't 